we take down the Groudon, the sun goes, so the Flare Blitz isn't as powerful, so, I mean, and we resist it anyway. Oh, we don't take it down! We Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and this week on the channel we've been playing ho -Oh and uh, Kyoga, if I can even remember it. Sorry, brain, going dead for a minute. Yeah, so we've been playing ho -Oh and Kyoga, as you can see the team on your screen in front of you. We're playing it this week, we'll play a new team next week, um, but... Hopefully, we're going to give this team a good send-off this week. We started with a different build and then brought in uh, Mega Sceptile to try out with this team. And honestly, I think it's been working quite well. Um, probably one thing we could do, I think, to change things up is maybe get rid of the Raichu because I don't feel like we're needing it. And something else in that slot like Landris Theory and maybe there could provide a little more coverage for the team in general and uh, just support us a little bit more, especially with the double intimidate. So it's something to think about, but we'll go into it today. Maybe we see a bit of the Raichu, because we haven't really brought it all week, um, because of the, the Sceptile doing the job that we needed to do. Uh, we'll hop onto the ladder. Uh, team is down in the description below, as always, if you uh, want to check it out or try out the team, then be my guest. Let me know what your thoughts are if you do try it out. And uh, as always, if you do enjoy the sort of content, please remember to drop a like onto the channel. Do subscribe as well for more Pokemon content. And do, as always, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've got any events coming up this weekend. I've got Bristol PC Premier Challenge happening tomorrow. So if you are going to be attending, do come and say hi. Um, I'll probably know you anyway, but if I don't and you are there, do come and say hello. It'll be great. To, to see you at that event and hopefully I can get off to um, a good a good start to the season it's gonna be my first event of the season so um, I'm hoping that uh, we can pull out a win tomorrow I don't think I'll be playing this team unfortunately I've got something else that I would like to play and that's what we'll probably play next week on the channel if we haven't got any really good suggestions from you guys or anything that you would like to see played so uh, we'll get into our first match today and get in to team preview and a first upon Jet is playing a team of Incineroar, Xerneas, Ferrothorn, Tapacoco, Groudon and Gengar. So the mega of the team is looking like it's going to be Gengar, going to be Mega Gengar there. Paired up with that Tapacoco for terrain support, a good pivot along with the Incineroar that's a slower pivot there. Works really nicely with that Groudon. I'm going to try and trap us in uh, with that Groudon out on the field and then you've got the, the, the other option there to set up the Xerneas, another threat for the team um, if it gets boosted up with that Geomancy to sweep and and then the Ferrothorn going to be a good trick room check for uh, what looks like um, is the option there. So I am going to, what are we going to do? I think I definitely need Incineroar here. The Intimidate support is going to be really good. Fake out as well. Uh, Intimidate for the Groudon, the uh, Ferrothorn and the Incineroar. Um, now is Sceptile good in this match? Hmm. Not so good when we can't have those free switches around. I do need Kyogre, but it may be better to bring in the back. Um, Tailwind going to be extremely useful for us here. I think maybe Raichu, ho -Oh, Incineroar, and Kyogre could be the, the ones that we want. So I'm going to lock in with those. We'll get into this first one today, and we're bringing the Raichu. So hopefully it's going to be a good one. And... Um, we can pull out a win because I'd love to give this team a good send off. It's always nice when you come to the end of a team and you give it two wins to send it off into the horizon. Wave it bye bye <laughs> and then never see it again. Um, no, I have enjoyed this team quite a lot this week. So we are going to see Raichu and ho -Oh come out for us to lead with. The one problem that we've got with the, the ho -Oh is that... Um, we don't have access to uh, Sacred Fire, which my opponent actually doesn't know about. So we are putting a little bit of pressure onto that Ferrothorn straight away with our Hall. Um, and we have got a pretty seamless Trick Room setup if we want to this turn. Um, and I think I probably will go for that now. Fake out into the Groudon and just go for the Tailwind. Um, so we'll fake out the Groudon. And uh, like I say, we'll go for that Tailwind. Um, and if we can pull this off and the Groudon stays on the field, then the next time we've got a pretty good switch into, um, yeah, the Groudon going to switch out. So that makes a lot of sense. Instead, we're going to hit the field. Ferrothorn has to protect here. Yeah. It's got to be too scared of the Sacred Fire, to be honest. Um, but we've got a nice switch into our own Incineroar the next turn if we want to start putting pressure on that Ferrothorn after we get our... Um, Tailwind up. 
So there we go, Tailwind. And I want to put off bringing this Kyogre in until the Groudon's kind of back onto the field. Um, so we could even get a Volt Switch out with Raichu here, to be honest. We could be cheeky because I think you've got to protect. Uh, you've got to fake out the Ho-Oh. Uh, and we will go for um, a Brave Bit into the Incineroar, so... Yeah. Uh, Volt Switch. And we'll get our Incineroar out into the field. And we'll see what this, this Ferrothorn goes for. It's probably going to go for a Leech Seed into the Ho-Oh. But getting an Intimidate off now is pretty nice. Um, into both these targets. We've just got to manage the field well and my opponent's going to be really mindful that the Ferrothorn's going to be the one thing that they're going to, they're going to try and, and protect. Let's see coming out onto the Incineroar. Unfortunately, it does miss. Now, the Ferrothorn has to, to pivot out here, I think. Um, so what we'll do is we will go for a U-turn into the Incineroar and I think we'll go for a Brave Bird into that slot as well. I feel like the Ferrothorn's far too pressured to, to stay in here. Um, we are going to see the Groudon hit the field once again. Ferrothorn has to protect. Has to protect. Unless we've got like the most ballsy read ever. But no. There we go. There's a protect coming out from my opponent. Um, we'll get the Brave Bird. Some damage onto this Groudon, which is always going to be nice. I think the thing we could have maybe tried to do was uh, switch out our instant or hoping. That we could get the switch uh, with the weather ball, but it's never going to happen. Um, this is a good opportunity for us, though, to potentially get in our Kyogre um, and put on some pressure onto my opponent's side of the field. Um, now the Groudon is out. The Groudon is going to switch straight back out, though, but we could get some water spout damage onto the field. Uh, it's just, do we want to take a power whip? Thing is, the Ferrothorn's like minus one. It's not going to take us down with a power whip at all. Um, How many turns of Tailwind have we got left as well? So let's see. we got one turn. Mm, okay. And the Ferrothorn is minus one. We could put it down to minus two and go for Water Spot's still going to do nice damage here. Um, and we could get... Yeah, we'll bring Incineroar in. Uh, if the Groudon switches out for anything, it's going to take... They're going to take huge damage regardless. So we're keeping the pressure on at least that way. Um, and the Ferrothorn, if it does... It won't protect, but I mean, yeah, the ground I'm protecting here, so that's fine. And now that fake out support the next turn, I think the ground has to has to protect. Uh, it has to switch out. Sorry, we'll get some good damage onto the ferret. Nearly fifty percent and a power whip coming out. Oh, that is really disappointing for my opponent. That was really disappointing. Now that the, the, the mind game starts here a bit, do we switch out our Kyogre and go for a Flare Blitz into the Ferrothorn? That's the one thing that's causing us a lot of issues right now. Or do we just go for another Water Spout, take down the Groudon, and go for a U-turn into whatever's coming in? Um, I think we're probably better off switching the Kyogre out, to be honest, because I think the Groudon switches out for the Incineroar now. Um... So we could switch to hot oil and then go for a flare blitz and hope to snag the knockout onto this Ferrothorn. That's what I'm going to try and do. Because I think the Groudon switches out. Unless the Groudon stays in and, and tries to get a Precipice Blades, sneak attack and get rid of the Incineroar. Nah, they're going to withdraw. So hopefully the Ferrothorn doesn't protect it. It would make sense that it does with the fake out support going into this next turn. Okay, no, we're gonna get the Ferrothorn. Now our matchup gets seriously easier. Um, so there's the Ferro going down. Obviously, felt like pretty safe with the Kyogre out in the field, especially because we're pressuring the Groudon so much. But I think when you look into that turn, you, you know that the Groudon needs to switch out to try and get its weather back up. So if you're switching it out, um, like that's in my mind where the Kyogre isn't really super necessary for us to keep on to the field. <coughs> Um, okay, so we've got Snarl, we've got our Hot Oar in pretty good shape. Um, are we minus one with Hot Oar? We are. Uh, so we could switch out. We haven't got we haven't got Fake Out support though this turn, which is a bit annoying. So we'll go for a Tailwind, we'll go for a Snarl I think here. 
So the Xerneas is going to get set up, um, but if we can try and mitigate the boost to its getting to its special attack, that makes things a little bit easier for us. And the Snarl definitely helps out there. Um, and then the next turn we can definitely get a Tailwind up. And I don't really worry about the other two members of the team from my opponent, it's just the Xerneas that is a little bit of an issue. So we'll get the Snarl off, um, we'll lower the special attack of that Xerneas by one stage. And like I say, the next turn, we should take a Moonblast. And now, from that Xerneas with our Incineroar, uh, let's see what our attacks, uh, HP stats like. Come on, DS Lord, there we go. Uh, yeah, we should, I'm kind of hoping that we are. We'll go for another Snarl again, because we want to try and mitigate that, that boost as much as possible. If we can get another Snarl off, we kind of just get rid of it completely. Uh, Moonblast coming out. Where are you going? Where are you going into Incineroar? So trying to stop our snarls. Oh, we actually don't take it. Mm. That's a little bit of a shame for us. But we do get the tailwind up, which is good. Um, now I don't think... Oh, we're going to see a snarl from the opposing Incineroar. It doesn't really worry hot or too much. I mean, it does make it a bit harder when the Groudon comes in with the Weather Ball um, tech that we do have. We'll bring in Raichu. Because we can potentially get a snarl, uh, a nuzzle off into this area, so which will make it a lot easier to deal with. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity just to recover, um, and I'm going to fake out into the Xerneas. We might see the Incineroar switch out now to Groudon. The Xerneas protects, but we may not as well. Oh, it would have been nice if. Incineroar would have been able to take that attack. Yeah, the Xerneas is going to protect. We might see a U-turn here from the Incineroar. We'll get some health back though with Hot Oh, just another Snarl. Okay, breaking our <sighs> Sash and Raichu. But we'll get the. Um be able to get this nuzzle off onto it now in a brave bird so we start doing some damage to it which is nice and uh, with nuzzling it paralyzing it there's always the chance that it, it can be for fully paralyzed which could also help us out a bunch in this match so um, there's the nuzzle get that paralysis onto it and dazzling gleam so we're gonna lose Raichu we're gonna lose the weather war unfortunately which makes things incredibly difficult for us in the late game uh, because the Groudon switch in is so easy for my opponent um, and with this being minus one already uh, it does make things a bit more difficult for us to deal with the Zern although the Brave Bird doing some nice damage there to be honest another Snarl coming out of course uh, making that Weather Ball like really just not not worth um, using at all maybe an Ice Beam and a Brave Bird would be enough to get the Xerneas here you know I think you have to switch the Incineroar out for Groudon um, and a nice beam Brave Bird, I feel, will be enough to get the Xerneas. Um, and even if the Xerneas protects this turn, we've still got... Um, no, we don't. We don't have two turns of Tailwind left. If we did, it would be good. Um, but maybe you don't protect this turn. Maybe you protect the next turn because you've got the sun coming in. You think you can get around the water type attack. Um, so... We'll see, we'll see. If we can get the Xerneas here, I think we can we can still claw this game back. It's going to be very difficult, though. It's not going to be easy. Um, uh, it does protect. Hmm. Okay. Now, Precipice Blades. Yeah, now we need to Tailwind again, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we need to Tailwind. It's just what this Groudon's got. It depends, like, if the Groudon's got... Hmm. Now, we, we, Tailwind, I think if you Moonblast, you Moonblast the Kyogre, either Holt or even, I bury just procs, so we should be alright. Moonblast, oh, it's into Kyogre, huh. Unless the Groudon's got Rock Slide, then it's game over. That's the Precipice Blades, okay, that's alright. Okay. Now, do we go after the Xerneas, or do we chase down the Groudon? That's 
the question. Red bird, let's go for it. Uh, I just think the Xerneas... I uh, know the Xerneas might be paralyzed. Even if it goes for a protect, it might be paralyzed. It doesn't protect though, so we're gonna get the Brave Bird. And like I say, Brave Bird and an Ice Beam will take it down. It might be better off going... Oh, I don't know. Will an Ice Beam take it down from this range? Come on, Kyogre. Get the crit. I, I'm I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna say it would have done either way. Uh, Precipice Blade's coming out. Alright. Kyogre taking that pretty well. Uh, now we've got the Incineroar to come in. I think we'll just recover with Hotel. It's a shame we can't get the Weather Ball going now, though. It's such a shame. Um, but I think we we should be all right. It might be a bit of a slow end to the game, but I think we can we can win this one out. We need to protect Kyogre. Um, this turn from the fake out. But a bird bird ice beam should get the ground on. We have to worry about Snarl as well from the Incineroar. There's a protect on the Kyogre. Hopefully we see the fake out into that slot. Nope, you're making the right choice there. That's a good that's a good play. Precipice Blade's coming out again. Yeah, I think uh, Ice Beam Brave Bird will get will get the ground on. <sighs> Although I feel like I'm gonna recover with Hot All because I feel like the ground on probably protects him. You probably see a snarl. I think. No protect. Okay. Well, Ice Beam should still do a good chunk of damage. We'll probably see a Snarl. Yeah, oh, crit. And press his blades. Kyogre should take this. Depends if we see double up into it. Like a Flare Blitz, just a Snarl. It makes sense to go for that. Yeah. But, I mean, with Tailwind... We're going to be able to, to beat the Groudon regardless. Because now we just protect. Yeah, we can protect. Tailwind. Protect Kyogre. And then the next turn what we'll do. We'll Brave Bird, Groudon, go for a Scald into the Incineroar. But I don't think my opponent's got a way to beat the Hall at the moment. Unless they're mad and they just pull out Rock Slide right now. Could be a thing, I doubt it though. Um, so let's see what they go for. Right, so Kyogre protecting. We're going to get another Tailwind up. Dragon Claw. Pulling out it now, it's pulling it out. <laughs> okay, another Snarl. Um, Alright. Now the only worry here would be if the Groudon did protect um, and we, we didn't get the Brave Bird then the Skull wouldn't actually hit the Incineroar to make us look a little bit silly but we've got to hope that that's what we can we can try and go for. Ah, oh, is it going to happen though? That's the thing. I feel like you probably do that. We'll go for it anyway. The Protect Snarl play would be, yeah it makes sense to do that now, that's the thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, and now we're going to lose Kyogre. Alright. But I mean, a Brave Bird should still take down the Groudon, and then we should still have enough in the tank to to recover with, with Hotel. And then beat the Incineroar one on one. So, hopefully, we can take down this Groudon with a Brave Bird. Not take too much recoil, and then not get taken down by a Flare Like the Flare Blitz, if we take down the Groudon, the sun goes, so the Flare Blitz isn't as powerful, so, I mean, and we resist it anyway. Oh, we don't take it down. We don't, we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose, oh my God. What are we doing? Okay, we might not lose it, because we got a Berry proc and I forgot about that. Okay. That's <sighs> not, that makes things a bit easier for us to deal with. Okay, um, right. I don't want to lose this game. This is like the one game I don't want to lose. Recover coming out. Come on. I think the Groudon protects. Yeah. We'll probably see another Snarl or a Flare Blitz here. 
<clears throat> but I'm pretty sure the Hall is outspeeding the Groudon outside of Tailwind anyway. No, that's not. It's fine. You just keep snarling us, Incineroar. That's fine. Tailwind pit is out. So, this is the turn, I think, where we need to the Brave Bird to get the, the Groudon. Once the Groudon's down, then we can start working our magic on this Incineroar, and we should be able to do it from there. Yeah, we're outspeeding it, so that's good. Um... Oh, okay. Sunlight fades. Gonna see another snarl. So we can just Brave Bird, Brave Bird, Brave Bird, recover whatever we need to do to this Incineroar. It might take a little bit longer, but we might see a forfeit because I don't think there's much for my opponent to do to beat us now, especially with the recover. But they're, they're gonna play it out, which is great. Um, so there's a Brave Bird into the NC. Oh, we might, yeah. Might proc a berry this next turn. Well, if we get a high damage roll, we should get it. So let's see. Brave Bird again. We don't need to recover at the moment. Let's see. Come on, Hot Oil. Get this one. Come on. Let's close this game up for the fans. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, and there's the berry. There's the berry. All right. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, we're going to probably have to take a turn to recover, though, just to make sure that we're not taking too much recoil and uh, losing this game, because that's something we don't want to do. So we'll just recover off that damage that we've taken there, and then we can start the Brave Bird train once again and deal with this incinerator. Oh, the berry is so close. Oh, oh, you're making things so hard for yourself. There's the, the opportunity there, and you left that incinerator with, like, probably one or two HP. Right. There's a Brave Bird. And um, one more after this will be enough to get it. Unless we crit. And then it's it's over. Nah. No crit. Okay, snarl. Yeah, and then we can click one more button. And then pick up this win. And we're in no danger. Our time's looking pretty healthy. So is my opponents, to be honest. Um, it's a bit of a longer game, this first one today. But a nice to grind out a win um, like this. Uh, when it looked like... We might not be able to do it, but the uh, the berry there coming in pretty clutch for us with the whole all in the end game, and uh, we're able to close this one up. And uh, showing how good whole all can really be when you don't have the right tools to deal with it on your Groudon, uh, it becomes a really difficult matchup for Groudon to deal with uh, when you haven't got that rock type attack. And maybe because whole all might be seeing a bit of uh, jump in usage stats, we might see more. Rock Slide or Stone Edge or something like that on Groudon. I doubt it though, because gravity just makes a lot more sense to play alongside it. Right, very good game to Jet, and uh, we'll move on to our next one. Hopefully we can, like I say, pick up a victory and uh, give this team the send-off it deserves. I'd like to try and feature Septile in this next match. It would be really nice. Um, if we can, what music are we going to go for? We haven't had it for a long time, so let's let's kick in with it. Let's go Ultra Cosmovision team. We've got... Sherry from uh, Japan, Japanese player, 1667 rated player, so we'll hop straight in. Team preview, and they are playing a team of Groudon, Veltal, Metagross, Tepacock, or Incineroar, and Mimikyu. So the Mega on the team going to be Mega Metagross, uh, that steel type there, base 110 speed. Uh, Mimikyu going to be a Pokemon that can offer Trick Room support, Ghost typing, and Fairy typing there. And then you're looking at uh, Tailwind support, potentially from the Veltal, depending on what kind of build it is, seeing... Uh, it might be uh, Z move. Z move could be on Coco though, um, and then the Incineroar there with the fake out support, U turn support, and uh, intimidate support, and then the ground. I'm going to be the restricted with the team. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. What are we going to need to deal with this team? Uh, Septile could again be quite good for us, uh, although it doesn't really do great against the Mega Metagross doesn't do great against the Eveltal. And maybe the Raichu is just the better option there, um, to be honest. Trick Room could be a bit of a pain for us to deal with as well. We could bring Stacker to this match, to be honest. Stacker doesn't really like Metagross, especially if he's got Stomp and Tantrum, though. Um, could go Raichu and ho as a lead. Oh, do I? Or oh, do I? Yeah, we'll go that. We'll bring Incineroar on the back and then Kyogre. We'll bring a rest restricted pairing. And we'll leave Stacks in the back. I don't think we've brought Stacker like one game since Tuesday when we brought it into the team. So, 
Um, it's a bit of a shame, but maybe if we play it on a bit more, that's another slot that we could look at changing up because it's not really done very much for us all week. But we definitely need some sort of trick room. I, it gives us a nice option against Xerneas. Although we had that last match against Xerneas and we dealt with it pretty well. Like all along kind of deals with Xerneas pretty well. Uh, we are going to see Tapu Koko and Veltal come up for my opponent. So at least the Raichu's given out uh, all, all the protection it needs here. Uh, we can fake out the Veltal and get a Tailwind up. Uh, which is pretty nice. And I think a good option that we'll go for. Um, the Koko... It's kind of forced to go for uh, a Dazzling Gleam here, if anything, into the Raichu. Which isn't really going to do anything to our hot or But if we can get the Tailwind set up, it puts us in a really nice position to start doing some work against... Uh, well, get a Kyogre potentially onto the field and do, start doing some work against the Veltal, which is a little bit problematic. Uh, the Koko, a bit difficult as well. And the, the one thing I would say about getting a Kyogre in right now is that the Groudon looking in the back makes it a little bit more difficult for us to actually get it in and going. So uh, we'll see what, how things play out. So we'll get the fake out. Oh, Nature's Madness. That's not what we want to see. Such a good, it's such a good attack on Coco. Generally, just for these situations, it's, it's really good. Um, now a wild charge probably gets the e Veltal, you know. Um, so I might, I'm kind of tempted to go for uh, the Volt Tackle, sorry, into the Veltal, especially with the Electric Terrain up, um, and we'll go for a recover with Hot on, just preserve that for later on in the game if we can. Um, if we can force the Groudon in, then that would be amazing. Um, but let's see what this is like. Boom! Iveltal, bye bye. Bye bye, my friend. So that's one restricted down. Raichu doing some nice work there. We're going to see you recover from our uh, hot. Hopefully, another Nature's Madness. Dazzling Gleam wouldn't be ideal, especially for Raichu. That's another Nature's Madness, which is fine. It's onto the Raichu, though, so that's ideal for us. Honestly, that is perfect. Mm, what comes onto the field now for my opponent? Raichu putting in some work there for us, really, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to have to contend with this fake out this next turn, uh, for sure. I would like to keep Raichu around for later on if I can. Um, I'm going to switch into Incineroar. I'm not going to bring in Koga just yet, and I'm going to go for... We we'll just go for a Brave Bird into Incineroar, just get some damage onto it, or a Brave Bird into Coco just to break. Because it could potentially be Sashed, you know. There's, there's there's always a chance it could be Sashed. I just think you fake out the Raichu here uh, to try and get rid of it and maybe Dazzle, but we might not see that. I'm just going to get some damage onto the Coco. Um, we'll get Incineroar onto the field. And hopefully bringing the Incineroar in now forces my opponent to try and get their Groudon onto the field. Um, I'm going to see any fake outs at all. I'm going to see just another nature's mind. It's going to be into the hot hole once again. And um, we'll see the incineral. Maybe U turn then. Oh, it's going to knock off. It's going to knock our berry off. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, right. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll fake out Coco and we'll just go for a recover with Hot Or. I don't really want to lose Hot Or at this point of the match and I'm not really too worried what the Incineroar is going to be doing to either target here. Uh, Coco flinches, there's a knockoff again, it's going to knock off our berry on our Incineroar. So knockoff, not something that we commonly see on Incineroar anymore, but still a useful uh, option to have there. Now I think what we can do is definitely get our Trick Room back up. We might lose Raichu in the process here, but it'd be fine I think. We'll get our Tailwind back up, switch in Raichu for Incineroar. <coughs> but just prevent my opponent from going for an Electric type attack into Hot or this turn, just to protect it that little bit longer. Um, Coco actually protecting. Okay. We're gonna see. Tailwind coming up. 
And did we see a U turn? That would be ideal. And we are going to see it. Oh, oh I'm actually going down. This is perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> Oh, this is perfect. This couldn't have worked out any better. Right, you going down there is ideal because we get a Kyogre onto the field that Groudon has to come out. And then the next turn, the Coco can't protect. The Incineroar has to switch in for the Groudon. So we take down Coco and Incineroar with a Water Spout. And then um, we just need to switch things around against that crowd on again which we've got the tools to do it uh, and we should be able to close this one out pretty pretty comfortably so um we're bringing Kyogre and I don't really think of, my opponent's got very many options here honestly I don't think they've got any options to kind of to be able to get back into this now a double protect on Coco could definitely help them um but we've got the tailwind up as well which makes it a little bit more difficult for my opponent well it makes it extremely difficult for my opponent to, to really do anything we've got three turns of that left so um yeah you need to double protect coco here i think um do we just weather ball the groudon slot because i think the incineral comes in there or we could weather ball the coco just in case there's no way groudon or incineral take a water spout Yeah, there's a Groudon going out. Like I say, I think you have to get the double protect onto the Coco. Ah, it doesn't get it, unfortunately. It's a little bit sad. This weather ball coming out into the Coco here. At least we get to use the weather ball. It does decent damage in the rain as well. It's not bad, is it? And then there's the uh, water spot, which just guarantees it. And then the Groudon going to be the last thing to come in. And what we can do is just switch Kyogre out to Incineroar and then the following turn switch Kyogre back in and weather ball. And that would be the best end to the episode if we can get it. If my opponent still plays it out. They might not though. They might uh, they might forfeit because things are looking pretty dire for them right now. Groudon coming back in. But to end with a weather ball would be the best. Okay, I'm just going to throw it out there now. If we can get the end, that would be incredible. Hopefully my opponent allows us to do this. So, like I say, what we'll do is switch into Incineroar. And we'll just go for a recover with Total. Don't need to throw an attack just yet. But that's a forfeit and we don't get it. We're denied the Weather Ball. But we would have been able to do that and that would have been the win. But very good game to my opponent. And we get that perfect... We get the perfect send-off for this team, which has been great. It's performed really well today, actually. We've had two really good games. I hope you've enjoyed them. It's really nice to finish the week off with this team on a high. Um, and uh, like I say, what we'll do, we'll either play my uh, tournament team from the weekend from the Premier Challenge tomorrow next week, or we'll play something different. Do let me know if you've got teams that you would like to see down. Uh, play it on the channel down in the comment section below. And let me know which you would prefer. Would you prefer to see my Premier Challenge team next week? Or would you prefer to see um, a different call that you've been wanting to see for a while? Do let me know. Have an amazing weekend, my friends. Whatever you're up to. Uh, thank you, as always, for tuning in. And I will see you all next week for another episode with a brand new team. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.